Hello everybody, it's Lisa. I'm not here with a project. I'm here to show you some happy mail. And I've got one, well, a couple of makes to show you, but I will come back on another video and um, show you some more of the stuff I've been making. But I got this idea here from watching one of my videos by my friend Moira McDonald and Moira had posted some Happy Mail, um, a video of Happy Mail that she'd received from Caroline and she's a really lovely lady. She does subscribe to my channel, she subscribes to Moira's. She's, she lives not too far away from me actually but she had sent Moira some Advent Happy Mail and I thought it was a brilliant idea. So I actually commented on the video and said, I will be stealing this idea. So thank you so much, Caroline, for giving me this idea. Because I do have a wonderful friend who lives overseas and she is a nun. And I like to send her a little parcel every now and then so I thought this would be a fantastic thing to send to her so it's just little things containing um, little makes some craft supplies that kind of thing so uh, why don't I just run run through it and show you what I've done so I got a box from a local store and this is, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to attempt to fit this in to be able to send it abroad. Um, where, where shall I start? First of all, I made up a little envelope and it's got some bits and pieces, some postcards from Scotland, um, just various wee bits, some Christmas stuff, some ribbon. I'm not going to be able to run this in order, so I'll go through very quickly. This is a Tunnox tea cake inside a cosy. And Tunnox are quite famous here in Scotland to make biscuits. So that is the first one. And I haven't sealed all of these, just uh, number two is one of my little stick pins, so she can use that in one of her craft projects. Number three is the lovely little needle book that I made a while back, and the video is on YouTube so you'll be able to see it if you want and I, I've made it up inside put some needles and things in one of my stick pins that is my dog you can hear in the background she is in the room with me and she doesn't seem to want to settle so one of these is for my friend and the other one is for her to give to one of the other sisters I have got a separate one for her to be able to give pass to somebody else What's next? Uh, I don't know where. Yeah, this is number number four. Is a little knitted Santa boot filled with some sweets. Number five is a couple of the projects I've made in the past. The Santa's magic keys. This is a shaker one. And uh, this is one that you hang from your door so she can decorate where it is she lives or she can pass it on to somebody else. I don't think we're going to run in order now. Right, number six. This is a good one. The glitter is flying everywhere. I made a little um, tea bag gift, a little tea holder 
and I've made it so that you can fit four tea bags in and it's got, I don't know what that's called, <laughs> but there is some give in it. Um, I saw a video ages ago on YouTube and I, I actually should have checked the women, uh, the women's channel again just so I could thank her for giving me the idea but hers wasn't a box like this it was very different but she used these little teapot dies so I have drawn inspiration from her on decorating the front of the box so I've made another one as well that I can gift to somebody else and there are four little fruit teas in there And I've just put it in a nice wee organza bag. We're not running in order, but this is another one. This is 16. And in here, it is a little metal Christmas decoration. Inside, I've popped in some Vaseline lip balm or lip therapy I think it's called here so that'll be a nice surprise for her and next in this one is a pen from Colleen Castle which is in Ayrshire and it's a National Trust property. And there is also a little reindeer pencil that I've made. Um, this is mine that, that I keep, but mine's is looking a wee bit rough because it does get well used. So that's what's inside this package. This one is 17 and I have made her a little snippet tag from my snippet roll. And I've added a little clock charm and it says here memories are meant to be made not forgotten and I've decorated it all put a little flower I do love the little snippet tags so that's that's a cute one Uh, number seven I've made a little envelope that she can use again and it's also got glue here if, uh, so it can be used as a proper envelope and I was at a little craft fair the other day and I picked this up so this is made in Scotland made in Ayrshire and it's all sparkly now she told me she doesn't usually decorate her office but I'm sure she'll find somewhere to put this. And next is a little, I think it's called a little sour cream packet and this is a Stampin' Up! die which I recently purchased. It is still on sale. It would have been sensible to actually get the stamps in the die over to my table and show you it but there you go I've forgotten I'm doing this in a rush if you can't tell already and I've got it all ready to be sealed and I've put some sweeties in here and it's got a little stamp and I've just stapled the ticket on the back and here is another one and this is going to be number nine and in here I've got a variety of buttons, mostly Christmas ones and some are from my vintage trash and that's just to be sealed and actually there's various tops to this die so you can add straight, you can add rounded or you can add this one and if I'd had more time I would have made a reindeer themed one because this could be the ears, you could put the antlers there, a nose and two googly eyes and you could actually put reindeer food in here. So I might make that nearer to Christmas for my friends at work. And this is a little bar of my handmade 
Scottish Heather Honey and Organic Oats Soap. So that's in there. I'm not going to open that up, but I've made a little fabric bag for it and wrapped it up. So that looks really cute. Next, I have some... This is some bulb pins because she does use them. A little tag and some little glassine bags. And obviously I'm not going to be able to post this video until she receives it. So the sooner I get this package up and sent off the better because it is already the first week in December. It took me a little while to get it organised. After I saw the idea, I was in full-blown creative mode, but actually getting the time to put it all together and to wrap it up nicely has taken a bit longer. And inside here, there are some Edith Holden book pages. So I've just gone through my whole book and ripped out quite a few pages. It's quite thick, so she should be able to use that in her junk journals that she makes. And this one is, I think this is a little flower. Beautiful flowers, handmade flowers that I'd purchased from somebody in eBay. And they are absolutely gorgeous. So I thought she might like one of them. I love these wee bags as well. I got them from eBay last year or a couple years ago. Uh, what next? A little reindeer bag. Doesn't want to open. And in here I have made some little bead dangles for her to put in her junk journals. And these two have got little clips to fasten them onto a piece of lace. And the other two have ball pins. And a couple of wee charms, a dragonfly one, and I love her, and snowflake. And this is a wee brooch, a wee Scottish brooch, that I picked up in my local charity shop, or the Aladdin's Cave, as I like to call it. So she can use that to decorate the front of one of her journals. She makes beautiful journals. She's very talented. Right, I'll fix that later. 22 is some die cut butterflies. Twenty four is some stamped images which I've die cut. There's various ones in there. There are some, there's some Scottish ribbon and a couple of Scottish postcards. And a little thistle. Can you do a project without incorporating a thistle somewhere? In this one, is a selection of bling. So various little bits to decorate handmade flowers. And there's some bling buttons there. Hoping I get this packaged up later, but I'm working tonight, but we'll see. And in here, this is number 12. I have made a little cracker and inside there is an orange and mango lip balm. And here is some hand cream and a little nail file. Oh, I love this. This is my Moira McDonald inspired envelope. So 
So I learned all of this from Moira and I've made a Christmas themed one and I've kind of raised that up and I'm really happy with it and I've embossed it. I think I did go a wee bit OTT with the embossing though. And in here I picked up at a local craft fair, doesn't want to come out and then it will probably rip. Oh. I bet you any money it's glued in. There we go. And that is a little picture that I picked up at a craft fair. And this is who made it. And it's the first one out of 300. So they obviously only make 300 from prints out of every image they have. So this is the first one. And it's in a beautiful Christmas envelope, which can be used in a journal. And this one is just some napkins. I won't open them up. And the last one I have stamped onto some fabric. Because that is very versatile. You could use these in lots of projects. And all you need to do is cut them out. And that is that, and I have, I will hopefully fit them into this box. And I made a little Christmas card, and this is my kind of trademark Christmas card. This is the one I seem to make a lot. I'll show you uh, when I first start cra started crafting version to a current version. Because when I look at the ones that I've made in the past, I can see how much I've came on in my card making. So, um, this is really just a copy of that. And I've just layered it, different sizes, onto some card. And we've got the wee reindeer with these googly eyes. And this is such a lovely dye cotton set that I got. Could it be Ellison dies? Something like that. And I ordered it. It came all the way from Holland. But I use it a lot. And there was a very similar picture to this on the front of the packaging. And that's where I got the idea from. So inside I've just stamped Merry Christmas and put a wee tree. So that's the card I'm going to put in. And last but not least. I will show you the little reindeer hat that I have made for my little granddaughter Havana. She's about six weeks old now and our mum loves novelty hats so I have been busy making this wee reindeer hat and it was a labour of love. It's taken me longer than usual. Let's just say the hat was the easiest bit. The reindeer antlers were a nightmare. And I couldn't follow the pattern right. So in the end I kind of developed <laughs> my own take on the pattern. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping to take that round to her in the next couple of days. And I, I can't wait to see her in it. She's going to be so cute because she is a wee cutie pie. So that's it for now. I'll come back again soon and show you all the other things I've been making. But this video is long enough. And thank you, Caroline, for the idea. And thank you, Moira, for the video. Bye.